All right, I'm back. So I flipped over the mower and I got it on its side <clears throat> so that I can get at the, the mounting bolts for the uh, motor. Those are located right down in here. There's four of them. One here, I've got one off, another one over here. I'm working on this one, but the underside of this John Deere, man, this thing's pretty rusted. If you look at this, you can just see how the paint is just coming off of it in all the areas which is pretty typical although I've never seen rust this bad <clears throat> the reason why is all the moisture sits under here from the grass but I've been finding all kinds of things in here around the belts and let me see what I can find this all needs to be cleaned out nice pine cone so we'll keep pulling the motor out okay right guys now. so I got the motor out and Here's what the frame looks like without it. And there's the motor. One thing I did notice when I was taking this baby out, if you look on the side here, right here, I noticed there's a major crack where something hit and basically oil coming out all over the place. And that was hidden because the carburetor, the throttle actually, the throttle assembly, is right here so we got a problem there and the bottom line is this whole engine is going to have to be opened up so that's the next step what we'll end up doing is we'll take the crankcase away actually the motor sits kind of like that flat like it was this lower half here you can see we'll take this off this is the crankcase and we got the upper cylinder right here and the upper cylinder is definitely damaged and I'm telling you right now that piston in there that piston rod is toasted and let's just hope it didn't damage anything else inside <clears throat> 